I'm here with Andrea Wenzler, who is the CEO of the Cool House. Uh, she knows everything about the building where the candidates are taking place. And um, what was the previous purpose of this uh, chess palace right now? What it was? It yeah. was for cooling down vegetables. It was uh, like a nowadays a refrigerator, a big, huge refrigerator. And we're talking about like the 1900s. Yes, it was built in 1900 and there were built two buildings, a very big one here, which you can see here, it was, but it was destroyed. And the cool house, this one should, should have been um, also destroyed. But we fought for it and we put it under a monument now and you can't destroy it anymore. So we are very lucky <laughs> that we could have that we have done that. Is this also an explanation why we don't have a, a heating system in the building? Because sometimes it can get quite cold in certain parts of the building. In certain part we just we are just trying to build it up. In the cube we have the heating system, we have it on the ground floor, we have it on the fourth and now on the fifth floor. But there are some parts where we didn't install yet but it'll go it'll grow the building will grow it'll grow for other events and yes that's what we are doing and we put make it um, step by step what is the um, capacity of the, the cool house how many how many people can visit the chess how many people can visit i think there's a limit until 300 more or less in the, but we could have 800 in the cube yes yeah and um you know, like, because like now we're standing outside, basically on like a balcony. And um, is there another place where, where we can have like some new insights of this building? I could show you the roof, which is not yet um, built, but we could go up and you could also have a wonderful view out of uh, over Berlin. Okay. If you want? Yeah, you let's go there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. let's go. So behind it's us, we have Berlin. Yes. Um, what, what can we say about like the. Um, the area, how, how did it look like in the, oh, many years ago? I don't know if you have seen the film of Wim Wenders Himmel uh, over Berlin. You haven't. So it's, there's a, there are an angel and and this part, you can see it was all flat. There was nothing, nothing. It was burnt down, it was destroyed and it was always the area where nothing was. It was just empty and they started um, step by step building up these buildings that you can see now. Here's the very important uh, Potsdamer Platz in the middle of Berlin and there's Alexander Platz. You can see the big tower. There's the dome. dome. There's the, the angel over there and here are two to railway, rail, uh, metro station, metro. And how much of Berlin was depending on this building? Oh, everything was supplied. I think a lot of Berlin. There were actually it started with a uh, two two houses like this, Markt und Kühlhallen Gesellschaft. It was a, and they started doing one building up one in the Köpenicker Straße. A street and it, this was a, a successful and and it, there was this need in Berlin and then they built these two buildings Kühlhaus number one and our building is Kühlhaus was Kühlhaus number two it was also written on the on the wall you could see it from the railway said so there are nice pictures yeah. <laughs> nice pictures and um, so the whole area was really for goods and for delivery and the horses came and then they put the things in and then they brought it to the markets and and um, yeah we just walked through like the se uh, sixth building and now we're basically on the seventh and you're also like you're planning like a new restaurant so th this must be this, this is going to be like a new hotspot here in berlin we hope so <laughs> yes we, we have to still do a lot we have to but the roof will also be um, open for art spaces and uh, theater space. Or we, will, we leave it open. We don't put yeah. lofts in it or something yeah, yeah. like that. And of course, we want to also have something to eat and something to drink and have nice food and nice drinks. Okay. Andrea, thank you so much. It was uh, <laughs> was a, was a great tour. I've I've seen a lot of uh, new stuff here and I've learned a lot from uh, from this building. So uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. <laughs>